Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox and Microsoft Windows. COD Black Ops Cold War is a first person shooter developed by Treyarch and Raven Software. So what's it like to play? Well firstly, let's look at the solo campaign which is set in the 1980s during the Cold War. You play as Bell and are tasked with the pursuit of an alleged Soviet spy, Perseus. Before you jump in, you can choose Bell's intelligence agency, skin tone, nationality, gender and personality traits that grant perks. In terms of action, it's the usual cinematic and action-packed affair, but I can't say there were many standout missions or moments that haven't been seen in COD before. But I did appreciate the evidence board, which acts as a hub between missions as you survey clues, choose main or side quests, to complete you know in an attempt to uncover the truth and there's also multiple endings available based on what decisions you make the next mode is world league where you and other players of a similar level take part in matches on maps and battle you know toward an overall ranking multiplayer mode is again pretty strong with a wide array of matches and maps but performance wise i found this one to be a bit of a disaster with several crashes textures not loading you know real lots of technical problems here you can take part in like team death matches, hard point, domination, fire team, sniper v sniper and many more. But for me the best mode and final mode I'm going to talk about is zombie. Now I don't usually like this mode as it's pretty limited and a bit infantile but they've definitely expanded the available options and matches to make it pretty good fun on the whole. I particularly enjoyed Outbreak Survivor which takes place on a large map with hordes of zombies to kill with your squad. But it's not all good, they have included a mode called Dead Ops Arcade, which is quite frankly a pathetic attempt at a top-down twin-stick shooter. Visually the game does look fantastic, in particular during the campaign cutscenes, but sadly the performance issues during multiplayer make it really difficult to enjoy. And it's quite frankly unacceptable, especially as this review is a long time after the release. Sound is as good as ever with quality sound effects and some good musical choices. The voice acting though varies with solid performances mixed in with pretty average ones. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? The zombies mode is great fun, multiplayer has lots of variety and visually the game looks stunning at times. What's bad? The solo campaign felt stale and too similar to what has come before in terms of level design. The technical performance and accessibility options are patchy at best. The multiplayer is temperamental and on the whole cold war felt a bit like a rehashed game so what is the verdict call of duty black ops cold war is a fairly underwhelming experience on the whole yes the visuals in the campaign are amazing at times the zombie mode is great fun and multiplayer it is what it is but when you put the whole package together it just feels a bit light too thinly spread out with little or no truly memorable moments to make this stand out from the crowd Part of me feels like it's time for COD to be sent back to the drawing board and go down a more open-ended route or even free to play. Because for the price they charge, this frankly isn't up to the standards of other large AAA releases. So in summary, it's got its moments, but there are better COD games out there. So my score for COD Black Ops Cold War is 6 out of 10. Okay, that's the review. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.